Welcome back. I uh, needed to make a video today just to try to make right some of my mistakes from yesterday, actually. So, right after I sent that video yesterday, I saw this blog post of something I follow. Uh, it said exactly why I shouldn't have, uh, I shouldn't, why I shouldn't have my students post pictures uh, on their blog the way I told you to yesterday. I guess that's called hot linking, uh, and there's some problems with that, namely, it if someone changed the the URL, the image on the URL that you that you linked, it would change your blog. Uh, and there's some other uh, things. If someone clicked on that picture, it would take them to the link, and that could uh, get you into some trouble as, as well. So, uh, with that in mind, I am trying to make right what I did there. So, don't do vi uh, pictures the way I told you to yesterday. Uh, instead, here are just three three things that that this blog uh, mentions that you should do. Always try to use your own images. For uh, next, make sure that you you find images in the public domain, uh, and you download the images and upload them to your blog. And then, if you can't do do that, then look for Creative Commons license uh, images. And again, you download the image and upload it to your blog. And then, make sure you give citation. So um, I'm going to go through that route today and just show you how that's to work uh, and try to make right what I did wrong yesterday. Okay, so here you go. So with that said, I'm going to go back to my blog, uh, which is there. Okay, so I got rid of the picture that I had before, and I'm going to add a new image in here. Um, but first I want to show you how I get, got that image. So I started back here. I went with this site photosforclass.com uh, and I just searched for the term Bradbury and there's my picture okay so I downloaded it I already have that downloaded um, but I, I need to make sure that I give citation for it so I'm gonna click on this and and I noticed this on on here uh, and not everyone will be this explicit with it most of the time I would just say photo by Alan Light anyways but but he actually says that exactly that's what he would like you to do if you're using it. He says, that's fine. He's, I've granted you uh, permission to copy, publish, broadcast any of my pictures, but uh, credit photo Alan, by Alan Light, and I'll put a hyperlink on Alan Light to this site. So first let me go back to mine. I'm going to upload. So I, I notice that I, I select this one, insert image, and then under upload I choose file. Let's, well, okay, I'll go ahead and do that again anyways. So, uh, here I come down, I select it, it's open, it's going to reload it. I select it and say add selected. Okay, so there's my picture. Now I'm going to add a caption to it again. And I'm going to say photo by Alan, what was his name, Alan Light. And then on Alan Light, I'm going to put a hyperlink. I'm going to link it to this page. Let's say open a new window. There you go. Okay. Uh, and so there's my thing. I'm going to add a little bit more to this picture. Oh boy, I really messed that one up now. Okay, so there's my image. Now I'm going to still move that over. Oops, excuse me. I'm going to move it over here. So it's not necessarily separate from my text, but kind of in there together. Uh, there you go. So right, now I've given citation to Alan for taking the picture and all that. Um, and I'll get rid of that one because that was my example from yesterday. So that's how you could do it. The other way is they mentioned Pixabay. Um, I could come here. Now this one is just is 
is in the public domain using images in the public domain and so with that let's say I search for Bradbury and let's say I use this one okay so I, I can it's a free image so this one it's in the public domain so I could use it uh, and no att attribution is required I don't need to say here's where I got this from or anything like that they've told me I can just put it on my site so I could do that as well I download it and then upload it again uh, just as I normally would so hopefully that that sets right some of my prior mistakes and and let me know if you have any questions uh, one a couple sites that have been useful in, in seeing this uh, there's this site which is all about copyright law and particularly pictures uh, and then the other one it's uh, free technology for te for teachers it's a site that I've always followed uh, it's about hot linking uh, and so those are two sites that that I've looked at and kind of learned what not to do uh, and hopefully anyways that that's that's helpful thanks